hello, hello. Just trying to find this over here on my iPad. Looks like I found it. Happy Friday, everyone. Oops, let me turn this down. All right, let me turn this up. All right. Hello, hello, hello. My hair looks like I have a bowl cut. I've been running around since I got off work and getting ready to go live today. So how's everyone doing? I'm gonna give it just a couple minutes to notify everyone. Um, for those of you who are new, hi Brenda. Um, if this, there's not a red live button right here, I this is a replay, but I am still live at this second when I'm saying this, but look for that. If uh, you wanna get notifications, you can go um, to my page and you'll be notified when I go live. We're gonna have a little bit of fun today. Hello, hello everyone. When you pop on, let me know um, from where you're watching. I am uh, in southern, southwestern Idaho. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little bit um, windy, but other than that, it's good. So today, um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of marbling. I have a scarf to marble, and then I'm gonna be doing more paper. I'm going to be playing with uh, paper and my newest type of paint to see how it behaves. My newest paper and my newest uh, paint. So different brands behave differently, different papers. Oh, Missouri, um, with any luck, uh, my youngest daughter will be attending um, uh, University of Missouri vet school. We're still waiting for news, so I'm hoping. Hey, from Michigan. Welcome, welcome, everyone. So, um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk, and I marble. I marble on anything that I can think of that I can get the paint to stick to. I have, um, Scarves and hats. I didn't put my hat on today. Um, tumblers. This is my tumbler. It's kind of bright. You can't really see it, but uh, there's a shape of Idaho. Marble tumblers. Um, hats, shoes, um, leather, wood, all kinds of stuff. So um, I guess we're going to go ahead and get started here. I hope everyone's had a wonderful day and you're ready to relax a little bit and uh, watch me float paint on water. This is Ebru water marbling. It's a very ancient art form. I'm going to go ahead and turn you down. So if this makes you queasy, look away for a second. Um, it's an ancient art form. Um, it originated in the Middle Eastern countries and Middle Asia. Now you're not gonna see my whole tank. I'll show you at the end the entire thing. It is um, 72 inches long. So it's quite, quite lengthy here. Let's see, you can see a good part of it. Oh, there's the comments. Yay, I have comments. Hi Colleen, hi Joni. And trachea, is that how you say it? I apologize if that's wrong. So I've got it all set up finally so I can see kind of what I'm doing. Let's see. Usually when I try this, I can't get it to show me the, uh, the comments, but it seems to be working today. Hopefully the lighting's good enough. So I'm gonna do um, a scarf. It's a silk scarf, and I am going to put down, ooh, I don't have very much of this. Well, we'll go with what we have. I am going to put down some light blue to start with. I usually do white, but I'm gonna do light blue this time. Let's 
And we'll see how far this gets us. I'm just dropping it on the surface. And you see how it spreads out? You can barely see it right now. Wait until I get all the colors in the tank. Well, it looks like I, I'm gonna have enough for a nice base. Now I'm gonna start trying, I some usually on Fridays, I have a day job, unfortunately for me, but good since I can pay my mortgage. Um, so I'm going to try, we usually get off work at 3 o'clock mountain time. And when we do, I'm going to be all set up and ready to go so we can come home and do a live every week. Because I have lots of ideas about what I can marble. So I'll just let you guys watch with me. All right. Those are fairly good coat of blue. And now I want a darker blue. I have several different um, brands of paint and I try to keep all the brands together. Some of them won't float on other brands. They only like their own. And there's no rhyme or reason unless you desire a specific color way. I could do half a light blue or half a dark blue or something in that nature or just color blocking. So it's all, um, You know, just colors are in one sh area, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you just drop as much of you the color you want on the surface. And now I'm going to use a little bit darker blue even. I forgot to shake it first. I'm going to shake it up. This, um, the water that I'm using is a little bit old. I, you can reuse it. It starts uh, misbehaving after a while in that it won't um, hold the paint and it starts to smell bad after a while as well. So I love creating all types of things. I was so excited when I discovered this that I didn't know that this was an ancient art form until I first saw it and started to do some research. And I was absolutely astounded that this is such an old art form. And I had never even heard of it. Of course, I also grew up in a very rural, tiny town in northern Idaho, so... I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I didn't discover this until about 45 years ago. And um, I had plenty of time before that to learn about it. So now I'm gonna try a little something here. I want to add, oh no, I can't do that. I was gonna add some metallic to this, but since it's cloth, I cannot do that. It won't show. The metallics will not stick to, um, cloth. So I was going to add just a little bit of gold in here, but I'm going to add just a few drops of white, I think. The, um, you can marble over something that's been marbled already. And it's this scarf, I'm actually going to marble the back side of it next week. And um, so it'll have a front and a back. 
any place you there is no paint you're gonna see the color of the silk through my silk is all white a natural white it's not a white white and so you'll be able to see that and you can also see the little bit of sheen that um, marbling uh, or the silk has all by itself so now at this point there's any number of ways we can do it I generally um, this is for a gift and I've been trying to decide what I think she would like and I, I'm struggling but I think I'm going to do it the way, the traditional way I like it. And then with some of the papers, I'm going to have a little fun and not do exactly uh, the same thing. Because I love this design. I have all kinds of tools to use to move the paint. And I apologize, I'm working out of frame quite a bit. But this tank is so long to accommodate the scarf. Your tank needs to be large enough to accommodate whatever piece you are working. I want to marble some yardage, just some fabric yardage, but um, I'd need a, you know, a tank that's 45 to 60 inches wide and then, you know, I'd want to do at least two yards of one design and then go from there. But I have um, found a way around that to some degree. I have cut out the pattern pieces. I have some cut and marbled and ready to go. I just need some sewing time um, to do a piece of a top. And I just cut out the pattern pieces on the fabric and then I marbled the pieces which fit in my tanks. I have a 24 by 24 inch tank and then I have um, this, I have several of these long ones. And uh, then I have a bin that I will marble hats, shoes, ornaments, all kinds of fun stuff in. And I think when I do the back side of this, it'll just be in a pale blue and it's going to be, um, I think I'll use what's called the cloud or the uh, stone pattern. And the stone pattern is when you take a brush with some paint on it and you just tap it onto the water like this. And so it'll just give a little bit of color to the back side. All right, let's see. Let me get put my other tools here. So I hope everyone's had a great day. I tell you, I've, we are so swamped at my office. Whoops, that doesn't fit. We are so swamped that it's just, Getting through the end of the week is quite the accomplishment. Okay, so now I am just pulling this. Through the paint. And now I could leave it like this if I wanted. I could put more paint on the surface if I wanted, but I, one of my favorite things to do is to um, now move the paint just with big S's and curls, and, and that just adds just a little more interest to the pattern. In my opinion, everybody likes theirs, their own direction, their own way. And I'll show you when I marble some paper how some different looks. But I'm, I like that a lot. So what do you guys think? Do you like that? Why am I not seeing my comments here? There we go. Now I'm seeing. Hi, Diana. Oh, they won't stay. Oh, yes. Oh, I miss Joni. I miss going, or Johnny. I don't know which it is. I apologize. I miss going to Stanley. I love that show. 
my favorite. I was so disappointed when they canceled this year. So hold on, I need to get an assistant to print this, but now we are going to put the, this design on the scarf. So it's fun. I do bandanas. I sew dog bandanas and then I can marble those. It's so much fun. There you go. Okay, here comes the magic. Tug a little bit. Are you tugging? Well, mm -hmm. we're there now. I'm tugging. You feel like it. Okay. Hmm. And there, this, uh, look at that. Look at around the edge. Mm-hmm. Never done that before. No, it hasn't. See, now, you, if you can see in the, the, the camera that there's this area right here that it's acting like it did not take the paint. We've not had one do this before. And what I want to do now is just move my hands across the surface, make sure there's no water or air under the cloth so it makes contact with the surface. It'll be interesting when we pull this up to see what happens. Now I'll take my um, very expensive tool here and uh, make sure the hem is marbled so it's not a stark white hem. Now what, what you're seeing now is the back of the scarf and the, the design is actually on the side that's facing the water. Um, I can't get the comments to stay. I bring them up on my iPad and then they go away. And my hands are all goopy so I really can't be touching the screen all the time. All right, let's see how this thing turned out. Now I can tell that it has taken the paint to the edge which is a good thing. All right, here we go. And there's the scarf. Now what I'm gonna do now is just put this in a bucket of fresh water and that just rinses off the excess paint. Yeah, the baggies are there. And then I'll just tuck it in a little Ziploc bag until I'm finished with um, my live, and then I'll rinse it and hang it up to dry. And after that, I'll show you what it turns out to look like. And see if it, uh, you can tell if it took or not. It looks like it did just fine. It was a, kind of weird there for a minute. And you can see underneath these big dark blobs here, that's where paint has sunk. Again, this is old water, so it doesn't want to support the paint a whole lot. Let me see. See if I can get the comments on here. There we go. Thank you, Colleen, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, the individual I'm making this for loves blues, so that's what I wanted to do. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. If I don't see it now, I will answer later. Okay, so now we're gonna clean the excess off the surface. This brings, this will pull the excess paint off of the surface. And that one, the part, this dark stuff underneath, it, it won't come out of the um, tank, 
but it doesn't matter because it won't also will not bother the uh, design. So if you watched my live um, last last time I was live, I think it was just Sunday. I was trying some uh, new papers. And I do definitely, I was also trying to make shamrocks. Eh, they turned out so-so. Not fantastic, but I'm going to go ahead. I have the paper uh, prepped to make a tumbler for St. Patrick's Day. But, and I'll show that when I get working on it, is that shamrocks are not the best. But I figure if I get it put together and I don't like it, I'll just uh, strip it and try again. All right, so I just lay this newsprint down here. And of course I have one little bit. That worked well to tear that. Now the masters, Ebrew masters can take one little strip of newsprint, probably this wide, and clear a tank. I have to lay it all out and, and then go that way. I do offer kits on, uh, to teach you how to do this. It gives you all the materials that you will need to get started, except for a container, because I don't know what you intend to marble. But I give you some paper, the paints, the instructions, and the instructions come in a um, booklet that's been hand bound and features marbled uh, a marbled cover. All right. So now I will do this. See, you can really see how that blue sunk in there. So I'm just going to drag this on the surface just to make sure. And when I pulled it off, there's no blue, except where the newsprint was already blue. All right, so now we're gonna play with some paint. And since I'm doing, since I'm doing paper, I obviously don't need the entire length of the tank. So let's see, I'm gonna wait till the camera can catch up with me. And I'll see if I can get it divided. Let's see. I want you to be able to see. Okay. It's a little bit easier when I'm using the smaller tank. All right. Let's do that. So I'll work here and then I'll work here. So let me get one more strip of newsprint. This, the, the newsprint will just keep the paint contained within one area and it's not gonna float out into, over the entire uh, length of the tank. All right, we'll just do that right there. Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's try. I wanted this paint that I'm using has this semi-metallic. So I'm going to try that. It's nice metallic gold. And I'm gonna put that in first. And from my experience, when you want a little bit of gold or a other metallic, you have to use quite a bit for it to end up actually showing. But I've never used a metallic in this brand before. So we shall see what happens. And you don't squirt the paint on the surface, you just drop it. 
and I'm using just all this one kind of paint. Now what should we use? Let's do kind of a Eastery color scheme. So I have a soft yellow, a soft pink, and a soft kind of green blue. That's what we will use. Here, I'll put them back here so I don't knock them off the table. Now also, when you're marbling, I'm never sure, or you never know how the paint's gonna behave. They each have their own properties, and so we don't know how much they're gonna spread out. All right, there's the pink down. Do a little bit of yellow. I see I have a few bubbles here. Bubbles are not your friend. Wherever there's a bubble, that will be a white spot on the um, surface of the paint. I'm gonna see if I can get my comments here. How's everyone doing? Be sure to sprinkle this out if you think you have friends that might be interested in watching or becoming one of my friends. So there's the light yellow. It's kind of a very pale yellow. And I have a new favorite uh, paper. I don't have it big enough to do. I have some some of it with me today. It's not quite large enough to do what I need it to do, but I'm gonna print some anyway. I can, there's lots of things you can do with the marbled paper. Okay, and now we'll do, see how it's pushed all this gold back in together? Okay, this is the kind of purple. It's the only purple I have in this color or in this paint and when you're marbling you can drop colors right on top of one another and they won't blend on the surface all right and there's the purple see how the pink now looks much more pink i was shaking these or the paints earlier to make sure they will were well mixed and you can tell because there's bubbles and everything. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more pink. Hi, Norma. Did you, did you see the bubble that popped out at the end when I tried to drop this? All right, I wonder, do I have a, shall we add this color too? I don't think so. That might be too overpowering. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my very expensive tool and just start moving this paint around. I call this just free form. This is the only tool I'm going to use. I just make sure that I move it each one of the drops is moved around now I can tell I don't know if you can see it on the camera you kind of can the purple did not disperse all the way so I need to work on that just a little bit in the bottle it's not uh, I didn't mix it properly. It needs to be just a little bit thinner, I think. But it might look really cool when it's printed. All right. So I just take the paper Place it right on the surface, just like I did the scarf. Oh 
I'm going to see. Before I pull that out, I'm going to get a bottle of water. Because I can't dump this into the um, bucket of water to rinse it. start an avalanche over here in the garage. Okay, so I'll need to rinse it holding it over a tub. So there is that first sheet. So now I'm gonna, I guess I better open the water. That's always helpful. And I just have a little, um, actually it's the tank I use for marbling shoes and hats. And I'm just gently rinsing paint. Now I must say, at this point, I do not see the gold. It does not look very metallic. But then I will look when it's dry and see how we look. All right, I'm just going to go put this paper down over here until I can put it up in the other room. Oh, I'm very pleased with the way that, overall, the way that went. Now I do see some of my, my paint snuck into this side, so I'm going to have to just... Clean this off. Darn it. Real life. Here we go. It didn't go with a plan, but that's all right. So there's one. Um, paper. very excited to see that scarf when it's dry. So I'm just going to start down beyond where the paint is and see if I can pull this as best I can back up to the end and capture it on the paper. I see a little bit snuck around so I will do it again. I think I noticed the last time I used this paint, it's a little bit more difficult to get out of the tank. Yeah, darn it. And once the paper is wet, it won't pick up the paint. So let's do this again. I have brand new apron today. I'm so excited. I have aprons that uh, I allow my customers to use when they're marbling, but I have not had one for myself that has a pocket for when I'm working shows. And I can keep my phone in there and all that stuff. But um, I'm going to put our logo on this one. I'm so excited. I actually remembered to wear it today. Fresh out of the package. Hasn't even been laundered yet full of creases. So let me see what we've got going on here. Oh, thank you, Jill. Welcome, welcome, everyone. This is Ebrew Water Marbling. I'm Linda Anderson, the owner of Aqueous Silk. And we're just having some fun. So I'll just try this again. Let's see. Let's see if I can just keep this contained a little bit, at least to one end. See if it water gets on top of it, burn it. Then it can the paint can float right on over the paper. Apparently I'm not doing a very good job today. I'm just laying the paper on top. So nice to be doing this. I uh, 
The office was crazy today. So now I'm going to use like my favorite color combination. How many pinks do you think we could do? And I'm going to toss in a little bit of red. So I have a fluorescent pink. I'm going to use the same light pink. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll use it maybe. And then I have another and yet another. See, look at this difference. This one here looks a lot more purpley than this one. I love it. I love it. And then I have this one. And then I'm going to throw in just a touch of red. So we'll start with this purpley light one. Okay, I see some bubbles. Yeah, the bubbles, when you place the item on the surface, the bubbles pop and then there's a big white spot where um, the paint should have been. It's not the end of the world, but. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with this nice pale pink. And if you can see, the, the surface looks a little speckly, so that's just the paint still trying to dissipate. All right. So now we'll add this one. I'm just kind of going to go down the row, except I might add the little bit of red before I get to the end here. The more paint you have on the surface, the more it compresses those colors together and your colors become more vibrant. If, if you are commenting, I can only see them part of the time here. Yeah, there it goes, creeping over again. Let me grab another piece of newspaper. No, no, no. Stay put. Okay. So now we're at this one. I think now is when I'm going to add just a little bit of red, not a whole bunch. I just love doing this. It is so much fun. No two pieces are ever the same. Now, see this one again, I need to mix this a little bit more. I should be keeping track of which ones I need to mix. That makes sense, doesn't it? Which is why I probably haven't done it. And now this neon one. There's all of our colors in. I'm just going to come through and uh, pop these bubbles that I see. Ugh, I am so happy that today is Friday. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I was going to make it earlier this week, I tell you. Let me get my very expensive tool here. There's a little bit of resistance the paint from the paint that you can feel on your 
tool and it just is so relaxing. I must admit, I would rather be standing here playing with paint and water than at my desk most of the time. And the garage is not very cool today. It actually was 71 when I left the office. I was shocked. Okay, so we still have some bubbles here. Okay, so there's our design for this one. I have to be very careful that I don't touch uh, any of my papers with wet hands, because once the paper is wet, it will no longer accept the design. So I made this big enough, so I think I'll print two of them in this one. Now this is a different type of paper than I used on the very first piece we printed. And I'm knocking paint off the table. I want to make sure that the paper makes good contact with the water and there's no bubbles under it so i will do the same thing with this oh well now i'm not don't know i don't know if i like this one let's see how it rinses that's always the key some of the smearing that you may see that can just be excess paint Again, this is a new paint for me, so I'm not 100% sure on how it's going to behave. This is my normal paper, but it's not my normal paint. I just am very gently rinsing this. Yeah, I think that one pink that I said was a little thick, uh, that it really stayed up on the paper, up on the surface, and wanted, wanted to rinse away. So it's not... Um, in just a few pieces that it doesn't look quite right but it doesn't look bad and that's the fun of this there's no right or wrong really it's just if you like the way it looks then it's good okay let me bring this up so you can see this one now that it's rinsed now I'm gonna go move it to the back So now I'll pull this next one off. And see, this one looks like it did slightly better. But that may be that I didn't have as much of that thick one in that spot. So let me rinse this one. Let's see how it looks. I find paper to be much more challenging to marble than cloth is. My favorite cloth to marble is satin and denim. So there's the second sheet. 
Oh, I need to see that little run right there. I need to rinse it one more time. And you know what? I think I'm going to wait and I'll rinse it when I get it in the house and get ready to get it to dry. That'll give it a chance to kind of settle. Oh, they look pretty on my board though. They're on my uh, drying, temporary drying spot. Okay. Let's move along here. And the, the taking the paint taking the paint off the surface is no different than it is when I'm printing an item because it's the same exact process. See, you can see the design where it took through the newsprint. And now I'm just gonna lift it off. sheet with this paint and then I'm going to use uh, go back to my normal paints I'm going to drag the whole thing one more time. When you change colors, you want to make sure you get all of the previous color out. So there's no uh, cross contamination of color. And again, anything you see in the tank right now is under the surface, which will never harm the design that you're working with because we only use what's on the surface. All right. Let me get some barricades down. I have um, a friend that she made some dividers and I should have my husband cut me some pieces to do that. But I just usually use newsprint. Usually I don't have such a rough time keeping it, the water on top of it, but not so much today. Okay. Am I too far? See, I want to snuggle this right down against the edge of the tank so no, none of the paint can sneak through. So let's move these. This next go round, we are going to use blues and I'm going to start with a gray base. is a very, it's called dolphin gray. Let's see how this one does. Let's see, any comments here? No, I would appreciate it if you would uh, let your uh, friends know that I'm on.
this one is done just, I mixed this one really well, it looks like. And I really don't know their behavior very well because I haven't used this color or this paint a lot. Already losing the caps. So what I'll do is just go down in order that I have them sitting here once again. And this is a dark blue. And I don't have a name on this one. Whoops. I thought maybe I had forgotten to open it, but I did open it. It just didn't want to come out yet. That was a don't do what I just did kind of a situation. This one is a pale blue. I'm already getting their brand new bottles, brand new uh, caps, and I'm getting paint everywhere. I'll be interested to see when I'm done if I got paint on my new apron. It's always fun for me to see um, how these colors perform on the water because some of them will just push everything out of the way and some of them just kind of push and then they give back up, you know, give it back the space, but it always is fun to watch. I have one green in one of my paint uh, lines that loves to take over. I kind of have to start with that. And then some of the colors don't want to drop on it. They want to just sink when you have it in the tank. So it's a challenging, challenging color. I have two more that we're going to use here. Again, I'm going to try to go live at this time each week, you know, depending on if I get off work in time. I will always post um, whether I'm going to be live or not, and we'll get to see all kinds of fun stuff. And, and I think what one of the fun things is I'll be showing you things that I create with the items I'm marbling. All right. So there's all the blues that I have. Actually, I have one more. We don't want to leave this one out. There we go. That's all the blues. I have kind of a green, kind of this color, but I'm not going to use it in this one. That's kind of pretty. I'm going to get a drink. One second. Anyone have fun weekend plans? I get to go to the grocery store. I think I'm going to go to a local art store this weekend and see if I can uh, kind of replenish my stock of my normal paints. I will be at a local um, Saturday market starting in May nearly every weekend, so I need to start getting everything ready for that. And I'm just out of a couple colors. And of course, they're my favorites, so. All right. So there's that one.
I'll do two pieces in here. little scraps from when I cut paper I try to marble it all and use it all all right. see how these did Again, we kind of have that look of a smearing. We'll see how, and I can tell with this darker blue, can you see the dots in here? That's just paint that did not disperse on the water. So I don't know if these blues are gonna behave as well as I would have liked them to, but we'll see. Just refilling my water bottle out of my rinse bucket here. Yeah, this is just really not wanting to rinse very well either. Give it another bottle of water. Do it one more time. It's looking better. I keep trying to rinse this, and the bigger piece keeps sliding down into my off the cutting board and into the water. Pull it back and then I'll let you see it. I still don't think these are my very favorite paints. So there's what it looks like after it's rinsed. I still see some running right here. I'm not really excited about that. So this is the last one we're doing with this, uh, this paint. I haven't used this a lot on cloth yet. I've only done a couple pieces of this paint on cloth, so it may perform better on, on a cloth than on paper. Dry my hands and then I'll clean this one up and then we'll go back to normal paint. Get my rinse bottle out of the way. See how I just pulled that right away from the edge? And that it held the paint in from, it didn't let it go over here, but it did go that way. I tell you, I'm not having any luck keeping this paint contained today. Get this cleaned up. 
just realized I forgot to change out of my work pants. Hopefully I won't splatter any paint on them. Glad I have an apron on. It's always interesting for me at least to uh, see how the paint if when I'm changing paints if the paint the the one I'm dropping after you know when I switch will behave differently because the water has some of the other in it not on it but in it I never really had that problem but always makes me wonder okay I'm gonna get another barrier put up here dinner. almost empty. Um, yeah, my core paint collection is just not where it usually is for me. After last year of not doing a whole lot of anything with the virus around, didn't stay on top of my mixing and so this is how I ordinarily start is with white now I do notice that this is not spreading nearly as much as it normally does now I do don't know if that has to do with the fact that I had a different paint on here. It's this art form can be, um, <laughs> it misbehaves and does all kinds of things depending on the temperature and the humidity and all these factors so you never quite know now teal is one of the colors that's known for kind of taking over the place when it drops so we'll see how this behaves it's not doing too badly And red is a color that likes to be pushed around because if it spreads out too far, it looks pink. And so you want to put it in a very full tank or put something after it to push it back together if you want a true red. I almost used the wrong one. If I were to drop this paint onto here, it would really mess things up because it's, they're not the same brand. Some people have an okay time mixing their paints like that. I have never had it go well when I accidentally do it. I know I have. Empty. I'll go ahead and give it a try. I don't know that there's any. 
anything in here. Oops. Yes, there is. Now look how much that's pushing. Look how hard that's pushing. And I can, I don't even have to move the paint after I get it on like this. I could just print right now. But I never, that's no fun. I like to move it around. So, I'll put these out of the way. There's a bubble. This is so peaceful. You want to make sure that you're not going too fast because you don't want to create bubbles. Bubbles are not our friends. But you want movement in the paint. Or at least I do. I did one um, scarf where I had just uh, let it be stones, just pounced it on and let it be, and it turned out beautiful. But it's just so much fun to move the paint that I always like to. Okay, both of those are down. After this is finished, this uh, the water that's in the tank is being emptied. It's time to make some fresh water. Okay. So let me fill my rinse bottle. where having a little bit of music would be nice. So now I'm just gonna rinse it. is just rinsing right off. Like I said, I haven't messed with my paints in a while. I think it, it looks like it's time for me to do that. Oh, this is awful. Wait, I'll show you here. These will go into the trash. Look at that. And that's my normal paint that I use. I always have great success with that paint. Apparently not today. So these will go directly into the trash. Look at that, just washed right away. Oh, that makes me sad. This art form can be very frustrating at times. The paint is not liking me today. So now I am going to use, once I get this cleaned up, another brand of paint. We'll see what we can create. And I kept this time, it stayed pretty well maintained in its area. I have just a little bit that snuck out on the on my right side. Okay, I'll 
I'll do um, two more pieces of paper and then I'll call it good for tonight. Now, I don't know if that behavior of the paper was due to the fact that I had this other paint on the surface, or if it's just the paint that I have been using that's kind of old and it needs to be refreshed. Very uncertain. It's kind of trial and error. myself just a little bit more room here so I'll do two in this colorway We'll try these colors together. So I'm going to use the gold, metallic gold. Again, I'm going to put a lot down. Doesn't have any problem um, floating. Woo! Not supposed to pour it. Okay, this is so pretty. Just even on the bottle, I'm just hoping that I can really see it on the paper. I did some um, the last time I marbled, and you, it's there if you look at it right, but it doesn't really, and I don't know, it doesn't really show as much as I'd like it to, and perhaps that's because my paper is white. If I had a colored paper, perhaps, it would show up a little better. So now we'll use Look at the gold just push that teal aside. Oh my my. I think I'm going to need one more color here. Decisions, decisions. Let's see if I can get a drop over here. I think it needs more.
try a little bit of this. I want to make sure that the paper is going to have some color in case that gold doesn't show. Look how big that, look how hard that pushed. So now I'm going to come back with some more of that teal. how bitty those uh, purple ones are now. And you just keep adding, oops. I forget, H1, like I said earlier, has its own properties. And this one comes out very quickly. And you get comfortable with the one you just had in your hand and you kind of forget. What else should I add here? How about a little bit of this one. normal kind. And then I'm going to use... Nope, that's my normal kind too. my new favorite one. I love the way it, you can really see it take the design. That's so much fun for me. All right, let's get these off of here and see how we did. I'm gonna bring this one off first. one <laughs> they did pretty well so let's see what happens when I give them a little rinse here
really wonder if my paint is just getting old. Yeah. Since it just kind of sat last year. And, you know, I wasn't using it as much. And I had no shows for people to attend, really. So, it didn't get switched out as much as it ordinarily did. Here we go. That's how they look post rinse. Again, I'll rinse them once more when I get in the house and before I hang them up to dry. So let me put them over here and I'll bring you down and you can see all the papers that are remaining. And then the mess I created. So. I hope that gold is metallic-y, like I want it to be. Okay, hold on. I'm going to move the camera. Try not to get the plug in the water. Okay. Let's see. I want to turn it around right here. All right. See, there's, what the, there's the whole length of the tank right here. Now we'll walk over. Here's the papers we did today. And then these are the two that just, I know the light's not great back here, that just came off the, uh, I'm gonna get some bigger, this new paper, some bigger sheets of that here and probably tomorrow because it's just not big enough to do what I need. But there we go. So thank you everyone for joining me. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend and hopefully I'll see you next week, next Friday. So watch for the alert. Um, be sure to tell your friends. And this is so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry. There we go. Bye. No glasses, can't.